हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द क्लास सिक्स सोशल साइंस दिस इज द वीडियो लेक्चर पार्ट टू आई होप स्टूडेंट यू ऑल आर सेफ फिट एंड हेल्दी एट होम दिस इज द चैप्टर लेसन सेकेंड ऑफ जोग्रफी and the topic is latitudes and longitudes worksheet for students which we have already started in a previous lecture students let's start with the point latitudes and heat zones in the previous lecture when i was teaching you about the latitudes and the important of the five points of latitudes at that time i had said you that these five important latitudes are helpful to us when we will be studying the heat zone the latitudes divide the earth into various zone here is the picture of the heat zone that is the torrid zone the temperate zone and the frigid zone fine student now this three distinct heat zone on the earth have various you know uh, different climatic and vegetations influence the first point let's talk about the torrid zone the word torrid means hot This zone lies roughly between the tropic of Cancer and the tropic of Capricorn. Fine students, the zone is the hottest zone of the earth as it receives direct rays of the sun throughout the year. The reason is it lies in the equatorial place. This zone is also known as the tropical zone and our india lies in the southern part of this zone next is the temperate zone the temperate zone the word temperate literally means moderate it is between the tropic of cancer and the arctic circle in the north and the tropic of capricorn and the antarctic circle in the south this two zones of moderate temperature is also called the temperate zone the angle of the sun rays keeps decreasing as one moves from the tropics to the poles the rays of the sun are always slanted this we all know so the next point is the frigid zone beyond the arctic circle in the north and the antarctic circle in the south the sun never rises much above the horizon this you all must have studied student in your class 5th or 4th these two zones of frigid get the least amount of heat and these two zones are the coldest region of the earth have you understood student next here you can see a picture of latitude longitude and they are intersecting and you can see in the between it's written london above the equator can you see it student now we going to study about the grid and how the grid help us in the formation of this latitudes and longitude intersection to locate a place latitude and longitude are the imaginary line which is traced on the surface of the earth for the purpose of locating a specific place so the grid is known as the series of lines longitude and latitude that indicate where a specific spot is located on the earth as 
all places along the 49th parallel are the same distance from the equator fine student now here you can see a picture to locate a place by the help of the intersection of the latitudes and longitudes which is the grid formation fine now time zone what do you understand by the time zone the world is divided into 24 standard time zones of an hour each each zone covers 15 degree of longitudes when we were studying in the previous part 1 lecture we had discussed about the greenwich you remember so that greenwich will help us of the meridian to study this time zone the standard time in a time zone is based on a meridian passing centrally through the zone areas in a time zone follow this standard time that is 24 standard time zones when people travel across time zones they have to adjust their watches fine Indian stand India standard time is located from Allahabad which is known as the Indian stand time and in the short form we can say IST the 82 degree 30 east meridian passes through Allahabad in India which was chosen because it passes through more or less the central part of India and it is called the standard meridian of India because we all know the meridians are the imaginary lines running from north to south and they join the poles. So today student we have covered part 1 and part 2 video lecture of this topic latitudes and longitudes we have studied about the globe the importance of latitudes, the different uh, heat zones of the latitudes, the standard, the time zone. We came to know the meridians also. Fine. And we have also studied about the grid, how it helps us to locate a place on a globe. Student, I think so you have started with worksheet uh, 4. Complete it neatly in your copy. Take care. Be safe at home student. Thank you.